Hello guys and welcome back to another video on Assetto Corsa Competizione on the PlayStation 5. Today we're having a look at the update patch that was released the other day in the hope that it was going to solve some of the problems we've had with the game since the 1.8 update that we received two weeks ago. Now I'm going to start by saying there's definitely a lot more negatives than positives and I'm going to start with something that most of you will find very useful and that is how to access your setups. So previously when the 1.8 update came out um, we had to press the options button rather than triangle. Um, they didn't say this anywhere in the game uh, but it was okay we were able to press options and access our setups. Now we can see on the screen that there's an option down the bottom to press triangle to access your setups but when you press triangle on your wheel nothing happens. So the workaround for this is you have to go into options, go into controls, switch to controller settings then come back out of there, go back onto your setups then you'll be able to press triangle and access them, um, load up whatever setup you want to use or save a setup. Then to get back to your wheel, you're going to have to go out of your setups, go back to options, controls and reaccess your wheel. And you're going to have to do that every single time you want to save or load a setup. <laughs> to be honest, it's absolutely ridiculous. I can't believe they haven't tested this before releasing it. Now, before having a look at all of the other issues, uh, I will add a positive and that is that the servers have been working much better. Every time I've tried to do a bit of racing online, um, I've been able to join the lobby. I haven't had any crashes, uh, which was one of the issues previously. So this is a positive and hopefully all of you guys have experienced the same when you've tried to play online as well. Next up is the button mapping issues. So these, these have clearly, they've done something. Uh, it's not 100% fixed. So for me, previously, if I pressed up or down on my wheel, that would also make me look, uh, or if I pressed down, sorry, that would make me look behind when I was trying to adjust my brake balance at the same time. This has been solved. So I can use those directional buttons to um, change brake ba balance, which I like to do, or, or you can, map it to another function that's absolutely fine however the R2 and L2 button are still unable to be mapped for me for anything other than uh, right indicator and left indicator so if I was to map R2 to um, cycle camera it will cycle the camera but it will also be right indicator I can't stop it making those indicators activate at the same time if I leave the options menu as well and come back to it, R2 and L2 are no longer mapped to what I chose them to be. So they are always just stuck unmapped and as indicators. One positive with regards to the wheel settings though is that the game does seem to remember my save wheel settings and button mappings other than the, uh, the R2, L2 issue every time I load up the game. So previously, when we loaded up the game with the 1.8 update, you would have to reload your save wheel settings every single time. The game, for me at least, has been remembering my settings. So that's definitely a positive here. Another negative that I've noticed, and this one is a little more serious as it relates to the force feedback, is that sometimes at low speeds, particularly at certain tracks, there is quite a lot of rattling in the wheel. So I noticed this particularly at Paul Ricard. When going very slow in first gear, the wheel would be incredibly rattly at times, almost like you were driving over gravel or a curb. So this is definitely unusual. Race tracks are very, very smooth. And when you're driving a race car at slow speed over a racetrack, you don't get much uh, feeling in the wheel is very very smooth so this is clearly uh, there's clearly something going on here that's not quite right um, it's weirdly when I got up to speed uh, this rattling isn't quite so bad and feels like it kind of should do so um, yeah definitely a low speed or straight line rattling issue at the moment with the force feedback at certain tracks some some tracks I didn't notice it at all a few other weird bugs are still there so the special event still has no names on the leaderboard, which again is annoying because I was on that leaderboard. And then uh, the competition server 
Today it was very strange. There was a race at Circuit of the Americas, which obviously is a DLC content not due to release until November. So no one can enter that race, obviously. And then there's also some, I, I believe it's Italian. It looks kind of Latin, um, some sort of sentence over the top. I, I can't be bothered to translate it. If anyone knows what that says, put it in the comments below. So I'm generally feeling a little bit frustrated with the game at the moment. There's clearly a good game in there, but they, these, these issues need to be sorted. Um, otherwise, we're going to have less and less players playing. They're going to move to PC or go back to Gran Turismo. And then when the game's finally fixed and it's ready, it's, it's working perfectly, we won't have the player base that we could have done. So this is kind of why we never had the player base on ps5 initially because when it was released it had issues uh, the big youtubers they came and gave it a go said it was you know said it said it had all these issues and that puts a lot of players off so if if these releases are done properly and there's not these teething issues people will love it they will start spreading the word saying it's a good game and we'll get more players but instead there's a lot of negative energy around it like this video for example and it puts pe people off and they almost don't give it a second chance when it's fixed so hopefully um a set of course <laughs> will watch this video and do something about it and make the fixes that we all deserve and that the game deserves it's a great game it deserves to be working properly Thanks for watching guys, please let me know in the comments if you've experienced any of these bugs, uh, any new bugs that I haven't covered in this video. I will put a link in the description as well to the bug report form so you can report any bugs you have directly to the developers. This is the best way for them to hear us and make those fixes uh, as quickly as possible. So make sure you do that if you are experiencing any issues.